Welcome to the tutorial. We have just installed Arched Merge D to our virtual machine, as you can see. And we've um, booted and we are, or he's waiting, or she's waiting, or it is waiting for me to log in. How do we proceed now? Each time the same thing, you install Arch Merged and then you could clone anything you would like to have. If it's Pudgy, it's i3, it's Cinnamon, it's Plasma, anything really, just the same procedure. You clone with this command from the internet. And then you just have to remember this one by, by heart. So github.com slash we are Arch Merge. And this is Linux, not Windows, not Mac. And then you are working with the ISO, which is called Arch Merge with a D. And then we decide what um, desktop we take. We take Cinnamon, we take Budgie, in this case we take i3. Enter. That's it. Everything is now to your gone to your system. We type ls or list and you have a new directory there. We go inside this new directory, like so, and there you see all the scripts you got. This is what I'll call from now on your skeleton. So we started to do the work for you, and now it's up to you to decide. Uh, first install it first time, see what you get, and then decide, okay, I don't want this, I don't want that, that's out, that's out. Put a hashtag in front of the line and it's not installed, or copy-paste and add something new, an application that was not included. All right, so we'll go ahead and we have to start, of course, with the lowest number. So we're, it's, it says what it's going to do. Let's just um, do one thing first, Eric. Keep doing this in your tutorials, Eric. And that's telling people and it says here, and that's why I should remember it, run the alias mirror in the terminal. So we are an a globe we are providing this ISO for the world meaning that this mirror thing let's put it in action while I speak this mirror thing is going to look uh, where do you live what are the fastest arch servers around your place and that's done so now you have the fastest possible way to install all these scripts so we definitely need to uh, to type this mirror thing then it will be fun to install because you'll see normally 22 25 megabits per second is what i get so that's uh, quite fast and if the server is wrong it's somewhere in taiwan i'm in belgium okay you'll get two megabits so do the mirror thing while we wait um what can we see we've decided to opt for i3 gaps so that means that uh, the windows will have a little space in between two three four five ten pixels twenty pixels the, the pixels are now set to five inner and five outer i think so it's up to you to change these uh, numbers if you want to let's go back to ls next up is a very important one i forgot it in one of my test runs uh, this is about my ninth or tenth test run um, so if you forget this one, 105, that's the major one, that's your i3 folder. So i3 is wonderful in that way. It's just one folder and everything is inside it. So that's a great uh, way for us to just copy paste everything over to the hidden folder .config slash i3. Everything is in there. You need to read the config file. I probably, if you heard uh, one of my tutorials before and it's there he is again yeah you need to read it because it's filled with all the settings and that's um, how it works so 100, 105 if you don't know anymore arrow up and then you see what the last thing you ran but it doesn't matter let's run it again this is what happens so because of my scripting the way i made it and i'll explain it in another tutorial how the scripts are made it skipped so you can rerun it anytime you like uh, you'll just skip things now the bluetooth is not installed so he's installing that well I always do that 130 is going in so these scripts are meant to be reused 
I mean, we started with Budgie and we are now in uh, i3, but installing Bluetooth on Budgie, Cinnamon, Plasma and so on doesn't really change a thing. Now he's waiting, he's waiting for something here. We, we are now Samba and we're installing uh, the way to share things is Samba and he's waiting for your login. I said, look, my name is Eric and he wants my password and I give my password to him. And now I have a user created uh, with the name Eric and with a password so I can share stuff uh, on my system. This is gonna take a few moments to install this bit of uh, Samba software. So it's better that I pause it for a moment. That's done. So 140 that was. Oops, oops again. 150 is network discovery. So now I see my computers around me. But then, alas, 150 is indeed the last one. So we're gonna install some software. As you can see, we've made some divisions here. Let's talk about that. So 200 are the Arch Linux repo things like, I don't know, GIMP or Inkscape. 300 are the things for coming from the AUR. And 310 is something specific. If you don't want to have SZSH, you don't need to install it. 400 is something that's gonna be um, something that's distro specific and it's a gray area you will see things put, being put in the 200 and not in the 400 and so on but we try to reserve the 400 and 500 for the things that are specific to i3 specific to awesome specific to cinnamon and stuff like that so it, it will be a smaller number of applications in 400 and 500 that's what i want to say right 200 is off and running so it's the the goal is of course to have a system up and running after well after the time it takes you have the download speed you have your cpu and so on but after a minimal amount of time having a full desktop completely installed with all the icons wallpapers themes you would like and just select them and be on your way watch your uh, movie or, or go to Facebook or anything you like. So that's the goal to have an, a system that's tweaked already and themed already out of the box, but then based on Arch merged. I'll pause again to minimize the delay or the time in the video. And there we are. 200 is the last thing we ran. So we're gonna go to 300 and this is gonna take a real uh, time, so a long time. So um, all you can do is drink a cup of coffee or walk away and come back and it will be installed. Okay, so finally number 300 is the longest one. Finally ended with fixing our codes, our icons. The hard code fixer does that for you. So we are now at number 300 ls, meaning next one is 310 if you want to. ZSH is a uh, an different shell than Bash is and has some possibilities to theme it. So that's why I liked it. But in essence, we don't need it. So it's only if you decide to try out ZSH that you can run 310. So we're now running the open, uh, sorry, the i3 specific uh, things, uh, software like V. Uh, you can see the, the interior of the scripts, uh, what it is, what it's included. And let's continue installing. Um, so that was 400 and 500 is the next one that's up. We're almost there to show you something because we're still in the terminal. Everything is still black. And it's a little bit blue. We want to get out of here. So, last thing to do is the microcode error that we have now uh, in Arch Linux. And everybody has it, but it's easily fixed. 900 and gone. Fixed. So, time to reboot. Finally, we see something. What we are, what have we done? Because it's. Uh, it takes a while to download everything depending on again your 
uh, servers around you, your speed of the internet and your PC. It takes a little bit longer or even faster than mine. So I'm uh, logging in. This was LightDM, by the way. LightDM showing all of this. What I'll do, as you can see, I am on, uh, on uh, Openbox. But I'll try with a Control F and you have a full screen. And as you can see, this is what you'll get with this one, two, and eight activated. And one is the variety, it says, look, this is the first time I boot. Tell me what I need to do. And you set it up like you want to. Every five minutes and every minute I want a new wallpaper in. Close. And that's it. Um, what else? We have here Genie that started and 80s Tunar that's chain that started. But we have not finished. We have not finished. We ended up here till the 900, but there is still another folder that we should run. And that's, uh, well, we should run is a big word. So that's my personal setup. You take a look at my personal setup, change it again. It's just a skeleton. Change it, get rid of it, don't install it whatever you want. But this is, for instance, uh, something uh, important. When you click on Open Terminal, it doesn't know what uh, terminal to start. And then you have the pop down and then drop down. And what I want is not in there. What you do, if you don't want either of these and I want termite, then you type termite. And that's all you need to do. And then it's OK. Um, what happened now? Uh, there is a window beside the window, uh, behind the window. And then already you need to know some of i3 specialities. If I press super, super key or the windows key, and click on the window, I can move it around. So it was hidden behind it, and that's of course very frustrating if you don't know i3. So termite, okay. Now it says termite, and voila, there you have termite. Let's make a nice wallpaper. This black thing is not nice. So we have termites activated. So right mouse click, open terminal. That's what happens. And we have here this um, new termites window open. And that's what the tiling manager is about. It's one third, one third, one third of our available uh, real estate, they call it, of your available pixels. Getting rid of that, for instance, is Windows Shift Q. But do I have screen key available? I have screen key available since it's a little bit doesn't cost us that much in megabytes and I want you to teach. That's what Arch Merch is all about. I want you to become smarter. So Control Shift Q, Super Shift Q, the Windows, Windows Shift or Super Shift Q. That's what this is. Now you can see my screenshots because I my keyboard shortcuts because I use them a lot. Right, personal. So we are here now in this folder. And what happens if you run these? Nothing. You check out the code inside. It will make folders or it will not make folders depending on what you have. These are my bookmarks. It's what I want to have as bookmarks, but you don't want to have maybe a data folder or an in-sync folder or anything of all these things. But these are the hidden folders I usually go to to fix things or to edit things or to change things or to check things. So they're quite important. This is our i3 folder. This is the heart of our system. Delete this, i3 is, is finished, won't work. So i3 is where we'll have to go all the time. All right, so what did we do last? 120, and then we go to 200. But, Eric, but let's make a mistake. Make sure Firefox looks great in dark themes, like Arc Dark, okay? But it cannot copy to a directory does, that does not exist yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start Firefox for the first time. Firefox is here on number one, or workspace number one. And now we can run this. So let's kill this, let's kill that. Warm me, don't warm me, close and press run again. So arrow up, 
run it again and now we find of course a Firefox folder. So we have to first run Firefox for this number 200 to fix the um, and fix the issue with uh, input boxes that are unreadable in dark themes. What else? Nope, let's see. LS. So 200 and then we have the 210. That's a bit difficult for me to read when it's just on top of it. So let's do a clear. LS 220. That's variety settings that I like. That's quite interesting. I, I missed it during the making of my scripts. These are things that will make your life easier. As you can see, the only thing that's here in Tunar is open terminal here, but not open as root, not um, make a wallpaper or, or anything. A lot of things that we added in Arch Merch that are not here, but now they are because of this 230. And then the roots, but we have no difference between, um, there's no difference actually between the bash rc and the bash rc that's in here not yet but the script is there for future so we've set everything like i would have the system like i want the system to be and um next up well we could of course reboot uh, or we could log off as well um either way um we will end up in a system that's more perfect than it was last time but you will not see it right in the way so next tutorial is how to make this pretty because um, it's ugly and that's what you'll get if you install it from uh, in phase 4 arch linux from scratch this is the look you'll get and now i'm gonna make it more uh, beautiful